And we're back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a flash frame transition in Premiere Pro. I've got these two clips of a flag and then a Statue of Liberty. And I've positioned them so that we have an overlap between the video 1 and video 2 track. Right click in your project menu, new and color mat. Make sure the size is correct, it is by default the size of your project and then change the color. I'll use this one of a gold color, I call it gold layer, and then I position it on top of my two video tracks and I resize it slightly. If I run it now, oh let me make it visible, obviously. There it is. We will go to the first frame of it, using the arrow keys to find it. Go to effect controls while your gold layer is activated, then go to the opacity and start an animation. You've got your first keyframe, maybe like here, I'll add another keyframe and at the last frame of this layer, I'll add the third keyframe. Let's get back to the first one, make it 0% opacity and the last one as well 0%, the second one is 100%. I'll roll clip and now we've got this effect. It already works but we can use different blending modes to make it even look better. For example multiply. Sometimes linear burn gives us good results, but not here. Let's try hard light and let's get it's a nice effect. We can hold Alt and drag a copy out of it and then change the blending mode here to multiply. To create combinations of these blending modes and effects, let us add a simple cross dissolve on the video file in the video 2 track we can change the duration over here for example and if I roll the clip now we've got a combination of a dissolve and this flash frame maybe I'll make the gold layers a bit longer so what we've basically done here is we've created a dip to color in this case the gold color that we've chosen, but we can obviously simply use dip to white or dip to black, which is by default a video transition in Premiere Pro. If I run it now, it combines the gold layer with the dip to white as you can see here. So there's another variation that you can try but I like it with the simple cross dissolve which is the default transition in Premiere Pro and this is the way you can create such flash frame transitions quite easily. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.